Hi everyone and welcome to your collective tarot love message. In today's reading we're going to take a look and see whether you're destined to find love again. Okay, so whether destin whether love is written in the cards for you, whether it's in your destiny, whether you have loved and uh, will love again. It is going to be a general reading. There's also going to be a part two to this reading and in part two we will explore the messages in more depth and in more detail. Um, once again, this is going to be a collective reading, meaning that this is intended for all signs. So it's not specifically intended for the any one sign, but I do believe if you're here and if you've clicked on this reading and if you're listening and watching this, then it's for a reason, okay? You've been drawn here, you've been led here. There's obviously something that's pulled on your energy to get, uh, to get you to here, right? So with all of that being said, we're going to take a look and see, um, give the cards a shuffle and see whether you're going to find love again whether it is indeed in your destiny. Okay, so we have a few interesting cards here, but at the end of the day, I do want to apologize for the barking dog in the background. Um, sorry, there's nothing I can do about that, I guess. Um, hopefully it sort of just becomes some background music, right? Um, okay, so we have some beautiful cards here. First and foremost, you have the Knight of Cups, and the Knight of Cups is, uh, you know, Mr. Romantic. He's the romantic seduction. The romantic seductive energy out of the tarot card the tarot card sorry and this is an energy that is coming in towards you unlike the other knights the knight of cups here is moving slow very slowly and very gracefully so this is someone who is coming in towards you but they are taking their time okay and this is someone who is he or she wears their heart on their sleeve they have um they believe in love, okay? Even if they've loved and lost, they still hold a hope that love is out there for them, okay? That someone um, is out there wanting them, wishing them, wishing for them. So this is someone who I feel like is on, um, on a journey, okay? On a journey to find love, to fall in love again, okay? To have, you know, to feel um, all those new and exciting feelings all over again and it does feel like this person is coming in towards you because then you have the three of cups which is this beautiful celebration okay this is um, and this is a card that predicts that you and people that you're really closely connected to okay people who you're going to be celebrating and sharing your wonderful news with this um, with these energies okay these are people whom you're they're so closely connected with you that they will feel your joy and your happiness almost as if it were their own okay so this is someone this is you this is you celebrating what feels like an engagement okay or what feels like you finally you know finding the one you're finally um getting what you deserve and getting what you've wanted the love that you deserved um the love that you've always wanted you know that fairy tale romance that fairy tale um, romance, that novel that you've always wanted, that Prince Charming is coming in to sweep you off your feet, or that princess that you've always wanted. And this is you. Once you finally get it, this is like an energy that feels like it's almost too good to be true. It's almost like, you know, I, I pinch you, you're dreaming kind of moment. The Suit of Cups is a slow-moving energy, okay? So this is a love that... Um, is taking its time okay so your prince or your princess has hit a bit of a detour okay maybe this person is in your life maybe this is someone you you know you've already met maybe this is someone you're romantically connected to right now and, and this person is pursuing you and you're pursuing this connection however it feels like it's slow to take off um love doesn't come easy and love shouldn't be rushed so 
if you are romantically connected with this person already, take your time, okay? Take your time, really get to know each other because this is a very powerful and a very unique connection. And you and this person will realize almost from, you know, the get-go that there is something very unique and there is something very special about them, okay? And you'll realize, and they'll realize there's something very special about you and what the two of you have. So don't rush this process. Don't rush the process of getting to know each other. I really mean getting to know each other, like getting to know each other with a sense of honesty with a sense of transparency like um, you know the core of who you are your higher self um, so do not rush the process if this person hasn't arrived on your doorstep just yet don't rush them okay they may have hit a detour they may have got lost on the um, on the way um, you know they've made some they may have stumbled on some um, setbacks or some hurdles but you know what is meant for you will will reach you and I know that sounds really cliche but what is in your destiny is exactly that it's interwoven into your destiny okay um, and this is a destiny that is going to be fulfilled this is a very it's a very powerful type of love it's a very special and unique connection it's going to transcend okay this is a type of love that's going to really open up your heart even if you've had loved before and it didn't work out okay even if someone has you know really badly broken your heart or someone has really you know betrayed you and hurt you to the point where you've hit emotional rock bottom um, you will find space in your heart to love again okay and this person and even if you're disagreeing to this as you're watching and listening this to this maybe you know you're saying that that doesn't sound like you and you don't think it will ever be you know um, a reality for you that's not true because once this person enters your space they will open up your heart okay they will give you hope um, and they will they will give you a change of heart basically is what they will do okay because this is someone whom you potentially could fall in love with at first sight okay almost instantly you guys will recognize each other okay your your heart your soul your mind will recognize each other this is someone who's going to offer you a lot of stability this is a very loyal, stable, a very grounded type of energy, okay? This person knows what they want, and what they want is something just like this. What they want is someone just like you, and it's almost like they've been waiting, okay, for someone just like you. Um, like yourself, they too have, you know, loved, and they too have had their heart broken, they too have been hurt and betrayed, um, even, you know, a multitude of times over and over again, but they've never, the thing with them is they've never given up hope. And this is someone that, whether you realize it or not, you are manifesting this person, okay? So if this person has is taking their time to arrive, that possibly could have something to do with your intentions, okay? And your, you know, your manifesting, okay? Maybe, you, you know, this is something that you want, but your energy is contradicting um, your intentions because you feel like you don't deserve it or you don't you don't feel like this person really exists and is out there and you feel like this is just make-believe right so even though your intention is there you're not in complete alignment with your intention because you feel like on some level it even might be at a subconscious level it might be on a level that you're not completely aware of but on some level on some level you feel like you don't deserve it or this person doesn't exist or it's never going to happen or it's too late you know all of these excuses and again you might not even be aware that you're doing it but this could be the very thing that's delaying the manifestation process this is certainly someone whom you're manifesting into your into your world okay you are manifesting this person you are pulling on their energy and they're doing the same okay this person is pulling on your energy this is someone who's also they could be on the other side of the world right now okay they could be just on a complete different journey to to the one that you're on but this person wants the same thing that you want okay they want to love and be loved in return they want to get the happily ever after they want that storybook romance that um you know that they've always read about so this is someone who wants the very same things it just it's you know it's what what needs to happen now is destiny needs to bring the two of you together okay you can help destiny out here by becoming in alignment with your manifestations, by creating room and space in this person, for this person in your heart and physical space in your life. The temperance here is, it brings a sort of alchemy, okay, a sort of alchemy energy to the reading and it reminds you to be patient, okay. Sometimes, you know, we think that our timeline, everything has to work out according to our timeline and sometimes we think that, you know, uh, we know what's in our best interest, but we don't. 
the universe does. So if something is being taken away from you, if a relationship has ended or is ending, or if there's something here that's coming to an end, understand that what you're going to give, what you're going to get in exchange for it is so much bigger than what you have. So don't be afraid to release any um, anything that you've outgrown, whether they are romantic relationships, whether they're con romantic connections, whether it's, um, you know, even friendships. Because um, essentially the universe is preparing you to make room um, in your life for this individual. Okay, so do not be afraid to let go. Do not be afraid to, to release anything that you've outgrown because it no longer serves you. And it's all about patience, okay? It's all about, you know, waiting, okay? Don't hurry. Don't hurry, love. Don't rush the process. Respect the process. Um, and also, you know, trust the process, okay? Everything will happen in divine timing. So if it's not happening in your timeline, perhaps your timeline does not correlate to the divine timing, okay? So just be patient. Be a little bit patient with yourself because if this person were to enter your life right now, there's a question I want to pose to you, um, to those that are watching and listening. If this soulmate energy were to enter in your life right now, are you ready? Okay. Do you think you're ready? Do you think that you're ready to be loved and to be really accepted for who you are? Do you think that you're ready to, you know, um, love in return and exchange? Okay. Are you, you know, do you have space for this person to enter your life? Okay. Also to enter your heart. Do you think that you're ready? Okay. You know, those qualities that you want for your person to have. Do you have those qualities as well? Okay. Do you embody those qualities? Because it's not enough to want, you know, those qualities in in your person. You have to be able to um, embody those qualities yourself, right? So for some of you, if it's not happened yet, perhaps it's due to the, it, it comes down to the very thing that you're not ready just yet. So do be patient here. Okay. Be patient. Um, and in the process work work on yourself okay because um there's a saying i forgot who and i should know but i forgot who exactly quoted this but it's better to have it's better to be prepared no wait i'm gonna get this hold on it's better to uh, you know be prepared and not have the opportunity than to have the opportunity and not be prepared for it okay i'm not saying that's the truth in this case but i'm saying you know when the opportunity does show up to recognize your soulmate and recognize this beautiful soul connection you want to make sure you're ready okay you want to make sure you recognize it and don't let it you know go over your head so be patient in the meantime you've got work to do on yourself the four of pentacles tells you to release okay release anything that you're holding on to because if you are holding on to something too tightly, that right there is a bit of a red flag because you're holding on to it from an energy of fear because you're scared that it's going to escape you. What is for you will never, you know, escape from out of your grasp. Okay, it will never be pulled from under you. So don't be afraid to let go of things that maybe aren't destined for you. Okay, so if connections have ended and for some of you, I feel like there's either romantic energy in your life. Yeah, it could be an ex that you might still be holding on to. It could be like... Um, a relationship that isn't healthy for you but you're holding on to because you're scared to let this person go it could even be a karmic relationship that has ended or is ending for you but you or maybe even this person is still holding on because they're scared to release you or you're scared to release them okay um, in doing so you are overcrowding yourself okay you're holding on to something that may have ended or that isn't necessarily healthy for you but you're not letting go and in doing so you're preventing um this soulmate energy this love that does want to enter your life from coming in towards you so you're doing yourself a disservice really um this is you know you are going to love again you will find love it is uh i feel like it's destined for you um i also feel like it's what you deserve okay because i feel like for a long time here, you've been in relationships and you've, you know, you've loved and you've had a lot of love to give, but you've maybe directed that love to, to all the wrong people. Okay. And maybe, you know, people that didn't necessarily deserve your love or, you know, weren't worthy or deserving of it. Um, and the universe has been, you know, has, is made aware of that. Okay. And has been aware of that. And the universe is saying, you know, it's finally going to be your turn. You're finally going to find the person that is worthy and deserving of your love. You're finally going to um, find the person that's going to balance you out and balance all of this out. You're finally going to find your equal, your other half, you know, um, your perfect person. Okay. Um, 
you're finally going to find the one that's you know that's meant for you that will understand you that will get your sense of humor that will understand you that will know your thoughts before they cross your mind that you know you, that sense of humor that you share in which you both laugh at the same thing even though everyone around you thinks that's not funny um you just got you, you get each other you get each other um th that person where silence is not uncomfortable or it's not awkward okay so the universe definitely feels like this is something that you deserve okay and in the end you know you don't always get what you want but you certainly get what you deserve and this is something that you deserve okay i love so pure i love that is so i feel like it's transcendent it's really going to change who you are and i know on you know in some aspects it sounds a little bit cliche but honestly this person is here to do that because if this is indeed a soulmate energy this is someone you're going to grow with and if a, a karmic relationship has ended you want you need to understand that yes karmic relationships can be really intense right and you know it, it's a type of a connection where you're just so drawn into this you're so drawn towards this person and it's so intense and um, but at the same time, there's just too much difficulties. You guys argue all the time and you guys just don't get along and try as you might. It just doesn't work. Okay, so if a karmic relationship has ended, let it go. Let it go because I feel like in place of it, there's something else here that the universe has lined up for you. Okay, the universe has bigger and better plans for you so you need to trust that i'm going to leave the reading at this and then i'm going to continue on with part two in part two we are just going to explore those messages in more depth and detail thanks guys so much for watching and listening please show your support if you haven't already by subscribing to the channel liking sharing or commenting bye for now